सफीर पाकिस्तान आपके जज्बों का तर्जुमान वतन से दूर वतन की आवाज और आपकी पहचान सफीर पाकिस्तान Provide a billion, five hundred million dollars a year in economic uh, aid. Let us build relationships Pakistan. around cultural exchange. Pakistan has a future that it to play in the whole world. आपके कारनामों, आपकी कामयाबियों, ऐसा साथ, ख्यालत पर मबनी प्रोग्राम सफीरे पाकिस्तान. Paul, I'm very proud to be a Pakistani. I'm proud of my country. Samaji, Sahafati, Islami, and Shahi Rabto ka ek naam Safir e Pakistan. Kar Ali Khan, Lifetime Achievement Award for his services. I want to recognize Safir e Pakistan, Mr. Wakar Khan. Mr. Wakar Khan. Mr. Wakar Khan. If there's anybody who should be nominated for Nobel Peace Prize, it's him. हर जगह, हर पल, आपका अपना Safir e Pakistan नजर आता है. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. नादिन आपका मेजबान वकर खान प्रोग्राम सफीर पाकिस्तान के साथ हाजिर खिदमत है कहिए कैसे मिजाज है सफीर पाकिस्तान आपकी आवाज़ और आपकी पहचान रबतों का एक नाम सफीर पाकिस्तान मुझे उम्मीद है कि सफीर पाकिस्तान आप पाबंदी से देख रहे होंगे और दूसरों को भी देखने की तरकीन फरमा रहे होंगे ये आपका अपना प्रोग्राम है आपका अपना प्लेटफॉर्म है वन एंड ओनली सफीर पाकिस्तान एवरीवेयर इन कैनेडा नॉर्थ अमेरिका यू नेम इट एंड यू हैव इट All the information you need about the Pakistani Americans, right here on Safir Pakistan. Nadin, I'm sure that our program today is full of information and there is also a meeting. In addition, there are local global news and community news. Before that, I will be able to see some of your meetings. Let's see some of the program's highlights. Hi, Nadin. Hi, Nadin. नाजीन पिछले हफ्ते मेरा डेलर जाना हुआ और मेरी मुलाकात हुई एक बिज़नेस ग्रुप से एक मीटिंग थी दो बिज़नेस ग्रुप्स आपस में मिल रहे थे तो वहाँ पे मेरी एक मुलाकात हुई बहुत ही नौजवान उभरते हुए आटा पलोर थे इसका नाम है सलेमान हाशमी यूँ तो कई मुलाकात रही हैं सलेमान हाशमी से लेकिन करीब से देखने का और सुनने का मौका पहली बार मिला तो कितनी सलाहियों तक के हामिल हैं नादिन ये वही सलेमान हाशमी है जिन्होंने सफ़ी पाकिस्तान से अवार्ड भी लिया है और आपको पता होगा कि सफ़ी पाकिस्तान कितना विजनरी है और कितनी नज़र रखता है वो भी गहरी नज़र लोगों पर नादिन आइए मुलाकात कराता हूँ आपकी बहुत ही हुनार बहुत ही डेडिकेटेड ऑनेस्ट सलेमान हाशमी से He likes a private space. He prefers it laid back. She likes a bedtime story. He likes to dream of his own. How would you like to fly with the best? Etihad Airways, the world's leading. Council General of Pakistan Los Angeles in collaboration with Pakistan Link invites you to an Eid Mela and fundraiser for the flood victims in Pakistan on Saturday November 12th at Phoenix Club in Anaheim. Come enjoy a fun day and help those who need you. For details call the numbers on the screen.
سسٹم But there are so many other businesses he is carrying and he is uh, the head of those departments like uh, recently I had a chance to see uh, a very big hospital called Texas General Hospital which is a little bit of a place and this is a 200 bed hospital which is very modernized and very uh, say that a better hospital is a better hospital and I think that within 2-3 weeks that hospital is going to be operational تو آئیے اس حوالے سے بات چیت کرتے ہیں سلمان ہاشمی سے اور بہت ہی بات ہوگی آج ہمارے اس چینل سے سفیر پاکستان آپ کی آواز اور آپ کی پہچان ہے اور آج میں ایک بہت ہی یانگ یوت اور کہتے ہیں کہ آنٹرپنور یوت اور یانگ آنٹرپنور کو آپ کے سامنے لے کر آیا ہوں آپ کو یاد ہوگی سفیر پاکستان کی ایوارڈ نائٹ جو کہ لانگ بیچ رینے سار ہوتر میں ملکت ہوئی تھی ایکسٹا ریسیپینٹ ایس Suleiman Hashmi, who is being recognized as the Youth of the Year. And I'd like to invite Dr. Khalid Mahmood, who came all the way from Texas, to join us today to give him his award. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I, I'd like to thank Vakar Ali Khan and Safir Pakistan. I'd like to especially thank my parents, my brothers, my wife, and my kids who are here as well. Um, you know, we, we've been lucky to ha sustain pretty aggressive growth through this economic time, and we're very excited about that. Last year alone, we did over $100 million of acquisitions. So uh, we're, we're a growing company. We look to diversify in different states. And thank you all for inviting me here. Salman sir, first of all, tell us about your experience in America and your experience in America. And after that, let's give you a little bit of highlight on how you came to this hospital business. That's why you came to your father's father. You were a medical and a typical show business. And this was your passion. Yes, I was actually born in America. جی میں نے بچپن میں بہت سارے لوگوں سے بات کرتے ہیں اور میں نے بچپن میں بہت سارے لوگوں سے بات کرتے ہیں اور میں نے بچپن میں بہت سارے لوگوں سے بات کرتے ہیں اور میں نے بچپن میں بہت سارے لوگوں سے بات کرتے ہیں اور میں نے بچپن میں بہت سارے لوگوں سے You immediately joined this uh, medical business? Actually, uh, after high school, I started my first healthcare business. I was, oh, I was, I was 18 when I started my first healthcare business, which was uh, a company called Provider Alliance Network. So I was working with healthcare, Medicare, HMOs, uh -huh. uh, doing full risk contracts, as well as working with the government, uh, providing healthcare to correctional facilities and inmates, as well as taking on private contracts from the Veterans Administration. So in the age of Athatha ki umar mein, aap ne healthcare ke business shoo kar gaya tha? Jee, jee, bilko. Achcha. To uske baad, phir aap itne bade business hain kaise aage, aap ne tabit kaise haasil ki? Kyunki jo healthcare business mein bada complicated hota hai, usme kaafi compliance hote hain, kaafi codes hote hain waap hai. So yaa aap sab kaise sikha? Jee, a lot of it was taught by my father. Uh, my father, when I was even 12 years old, would take me to board meetings of hospitals. He would uh, uh, almost teach me all the healthcare system and uh, would really uh, involve me at a very high level in any of his meetings and allow me the opportunity to speak, ask questions, and anything that was involved. So a lot of credit goes to him as well as my mother because she was there at the home supporting me, school and all that. So. Achha, achha. So, he's been on the board of many hospitals and he's 
he was doing a medical group as well so i i was there with him um it, not an he wasn't in an ownership role but he was actually in a leadership role with large hospital systems uh such as hca and adventist health system some large some of the largest in the country oh acha 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 to uske baad aap figure it se dallas move ho gaye ji bilkul acha to dallas mein aapne dallas mein aapne kaun sa karobar shuru kiya health se related definitely uh, health mein bahut se business hote hain dallas system hai home infusion hai pathology hai hospital <coughs> system hai urgent care hai तो आपने किस बिजनेस को पसंद किया अब कैसे स्टार्ट किया सो आई फर्स्ट स्टार्टेड विद अ हेल्थ केयर कंसल्टिंग कंपनी सो आई वुड प्रोवाइड कंसल्टिंग सर्विसेज टू फिजिशियंस टू हॉस्पिटल्स टू लार्ज हॉस्पिटल सिस्टम्स आई वर्क्ड विद लार्ज एंड स्मॉल एट द एंड ऑफ इट एंड देन वन वन ऑफ द थिंग्स आई सॉ इज प्रोबेब्ली अबाउट 6 मंथ्स आफ्टर आई मूव्ड टू डैलास देयर वाज अ अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट आई सॉ वेयर अ हॉस्पिटल कुड बी एक्वायर्ड एंड आई एक्चुअली परस्यूड दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी So I, I purchased the hospital um about 6 months after we moved to Dallas. I see how many beds. That that is a smaller hospital that is a 25 bed hospital in a rural town called Bonham. Oh okay. You are still running that hospital? Yes, so that hospital is still on but. Is still a 25 bed or more? Well, that hospital is actually uh is a government critical access facility. So it has to stay at 25 beds. and it can it's not it go, goes under a different designation of hospitals that serve highly uh areas of high high need and are in rural settings oh i think rural settings yeah so that hospital cannot grow more than 25 beds however it has full ors it has two ors it has two procedure rooms and it has a full uh, er and icu service excellent so ab ye bataiye ki maujooda surat hal mein kitne hospital aap run kar rahe hain aur किस किस टाइप का हॉस्पिटल है और फ्यूचर आपका क्या प्लान है जी राइट नाउ वी हैव अ फोर हॉस्पिटल्स दैट आर दैट आई आई करेंटली ओन एंड आई एम इन्वॉल्व्ड विद अ टू ऑफ देम आर रनिंग हॉस्पिटल्स एक जो मैंने बताया था जो बॉनहम का हॉस्पिटल है एक ह्यूस्टन में एक हॉस्पिटल है बाय द नेम ऑफ सेंट एंथनीज हॉस्पिटल अ दैट हॉस्पिटल इज अ रनिंग हॉस्पिटल वी हैव टू हॉस्पिटल्स वन ये जो ग्रैंड प्रेरी में है इन द सबर्ब ऑफ डैलास इज कॉल्ड टेक्सास जनरल हॉस्पिटल that's a large hospital that will be opening up shortly within the next 2 to 3 weeks and then there's a Lancaster Regional Medical Center as well uh, another hospital that's opening as a 90 bed hospital uh in South Dallas I see uh explain each and every hospital facilities and the advancements and technologies acha uh to begin with the uh, Jobonum hospital I told you a little bit about it is 25 beds ER ORs uh ICU beds जो ह्यूस्टन का हॉस्पिटल है उससे ज़्यादा बड़ा है वो इट्स ए 42 बेड हॉस्पिटल इट आल्सो हैज 12 आईसीयू बेड्स इट हैज अ 3 ओआरस एंड 2 प्रोसीजर रूम्स अ दैट हॉस्पिटल हैज आल्सो अचीव्ड अ स्टेटस ऑफ बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस सो 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 वी फोकस ऑन बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी वी आल्सो हैव पेन मैनेजमेंट न्यूरो सर्जरी आई वुड प्लीज एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज अ बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी बेरियाट्रिक बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी इज द ओबेसिटी सर्जरी सो यू नो लैब बैंड्स एंड गैस्ट्रिक बाइपास टाइप सर्जरी सो दैट इज अ वेरी हार्ड डेजिग्नेशन टू गेट फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ हॉस्पिटल्स बट इवन बीइंग समवेयर अ स्मॉल हॉस्पिटल एट 42 बेड्स वी वर एबल टू गेट दैट डेजिग्नेशन ओ आई सी ओके and what about this uh, lancaster hospital 90 bed yeah so lancaster hospital will probably be open december to january of uh, uh, of next n- next year um and that is going to be a 90 bed hospital with C- ct scan full ors icu uh and a lot of focus in cardiology as well as basic medical illnesses you the grand prairie ka hospital hai this is going to be by far one of the largest projects it's a 200 bed 360,000 square foot hospital. Um this is in in Dallas in the suburb of Dallas very close to the new uh Dallas Cowboys stadium. Uh oh, yeah. so that is actually is very advanced in technology. We have state of the art beds that can take patient weights without the patient's actually getting up. Uh with we have a 64 slice CT scanner, we have a MRI, a wide bore MRI. We have a uh, hybrid uh cardiac cath lab that is capable of doing vascular surgeries within the cath lab uh and we have eight operating rooms with state of the art technology such as led lights uh full electronic displays and and uh, state of the art 
you know, anesthesia machines, patient monitoring devices, er everything. I see. Okay. So it's going to be 200 bed hospital. And what category is the hospital for? This is technically licensed as a general acute care license. So if you look at hospital designations in the U.S., there's general acute care, there's long-term acute care, there's rehab hospital, and then there's psych hospital. So these, all the hospitals that I've described are general acute care hospitals. We have now also started a partial psych hospital in Houston, Houston as well, which is known as a PHP, a partial hospitalization on psychiatry. Psychiatry, okay. So definitely you're running the small scale hospital like the 40 bed and 25 beds. So now the coming 200 bed hospital is in, involved a lot of compliance and code and a lot of system and definitely a lot of uh, staff. So are you ready for that? Yes, de definitely. You know, I mean, it was a different process in the sense that uh, Grand Prairie, we're opening from scratch. It's opening brand new, you know, as a new hospital. So there are a whole bunch of requirements and uh, certificate needs and, and uh, licensors that you have to obtain. And we've been able to do so. A, a lot that has helped in that process is my father and I working together on that. You know, him being a physician, me being on the business and compliance side as well. Uh, we work very close together and it works out very well. And we've now obtained a lot of the licenses and we're almost ready to open. Okay, so what other project is uh, underway in the same hospital? You know, we're, we're looking at not only growing some of these hospitals, but also looking at new acquisitions. So uh, we're looking at other hospitals for sale. You know, we are looking to partner up with other people. Uh, you know, again, we're looking at a national level of what is available and what we can do. And, and the best thing is working together with, other, with people and with, you know, ourselves. Uh, it can really work out very well. Uh, also, uh, you know, we're growing, my, my di I have a dialysis center company as well that does dialysis. Oh, yeah, you, you mentioned to me. Yes, yeah. yeah, so, so we're growing. How many centers? Right now we're in the process of, we, we have several in McA the McAllen area, we're looking at the Dallas area of also adding some, and in the Houston area of adding some. So, you know, that is a growing business. So we hope to have about 25 to 30 centers within the next, call it 18 months. 18 months. You also told me that you are planning to do some education type of uh, project within the Texas General Hospital. Yes, de definitely. One of the passions uh, th that has been almost historically influenced on us is our family has believed very much in education. Uh, so, you know, we, not only getting it for ourselves, but also future, future generations. Also in this tough economy, you have a lot of people that are looking to uh, get educated in different ancillary services and the healthcare is an area of need and healthcare is an area that we're employing constantly many, many people. So we want to start different education initiatives starting off from basic, you know, you, from your basic technicians, so, you know, your healthcare technicians, your x-ray tech, your pulmonary techs, uh, radiology tech, all the way up to eventually nurses and then potentially even doctors. So are you looking for other doctors, nurses and technicians? Yes, de definitely. We're looking for doctors, nurses and technicians. We're constantly employed. Oh, I see. So what do you need from our community? Let's say in our community living in every state of America, they are healthcare professionals, medical professionals. <laughs> uh, what do you need from the community to make this hospital one of the, st one of the state of the art hospital? Well, you know, I, I think a uh, hospital is an interesting business. We need the support of the community. We need the support of the doctors. We need support of staff. Uh, what I would uh, recommend and what I, what I would request to the community is to definitely support, you know, other Pakistanis or people of Pakistani origin, no matter where they are, and so see, see how we can all help out. We all want to work together and, and really to be patriotic to Pakistan in this country is supporting one another. How do you feel as a young man and being in a Pakistanis running the very large hospital? What is your inner feeling? Well, my, my inner feeling is good, you know, and not only to provide health care to, you know, Pakistanis, but the, all the communities that we have hospitals in. You know, I, I think it's a uh, it's being patriotic to this country as well. You know, we're, we're providing substantial employment in some of these cities 
Uh, you know, uh, if you look at our plants in Grand Prairie, there will be over a thousand new jobs created with an average salary of fifty thousand dollars. So you know, if you imagine that, you know, if you bring in a thousand families, you've almost brought in forty thousand people with an average income of fifty thousand dollars. That's a huge economic impact to a community. So it's a very good thing that we can not only provide to you know the communities and the uh, the people here, but also to you know uh different individuals that you know being being from or you know my family descending from pakistan it is it is uh, you know i always want to be supportive of however i can be uh what do you think the role of your family your brother your sister uh your wife your mother your dad as it being a professional uh medical surgeon well uh you know the role the roles of everyone has been so helpful like you know there's not enough words to even describe them you know my my wife she takes care of all the kids she makes sure that uh, they're they're taken care of they're going to school they're doing their homework uh she takes care of the baby i i you know and then uh my my dad has taught me you know almost everything i know about the healthcare business my mother has been raising me uh since i was a little boy when my 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 dad would be at work even in those instances and then my brothers are always there you know if i need to call them for any favor if i if let's say i'm stuck in one meeting and they have to meet with a contractor or something like that they're ready and they're there you know whenever i ask them to be i see i know that is your busy schedule running the houston and bona hospital and Uh, Lancaster, how you find the time for your social life? You know, uh, I, socializing. Uh, 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 actually, I, we we enjoy socializing. My fa- my family and I, we all, you know, every weekend it is, you know, a uh, lot of commitments, and we try to make every commitment uh, that we can, and we lo- we love the community here in Dallas, and uh, and the different communities that we've been a part of. We we you know we love attending community functions. We stay very close to our roots in terms of. you know most of the people that i associate with there you know uh, are are in the healthcare industry and in uh the pakistani society and the american society as well uh, excellent what are your feeling how do you see and align the pakistan in 20 years well uh, pakistan is a country of amazing resources you know i mean we we have gone there a couple of times uh, you know we used to go every summer when i was in elementary school it's gotten less frequent now however it is a country that has you know ingenuity it has manpower it has resources if you go from south pakistan and karachi you know and uh the port system all the way to the mountains the snow you can get it, you know i mean it, it's almost like looking at america from east uh from no, from north to south you get almost the same the same mix there it's just that you know i think utilizing the whole network working together and working together peacefully and and uh for common objectives that can be attained you know i i think the way that pakistan will be in the next uh I call it 20 years is it really should the people should come together and the people are very much together you know when it comes to when it comes to cricket when it comes to music when it comes to certain other things they're they're one nation and we should bring that one nation concept in politics in everything else so that we can truly succeed and not argue over you know this person's right this person's wrong it should really just move the country forward and i hope that everyone has that in their heart uh, who do you give the credit of your success and your achievements and what is the exclusive message to the younger generation those watching you today well i definitely give all all the success and uh, credit uh, to uh, to go to to Allah and then to my fam family you know i mean the i i could not uh, thank god enough i could not thank my family enough um and the the message uh to the youth should, should probably be that you know uh definitely listening to elders you know they have so much experience they have so much that they know uh listen to them and and you you will hear opportunities you will find opportunities you know i hear some 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 kids that are saying oh you know we don't want to spend time with the older generation you know they talk about you know the same businesses and the politics and things like that but really that business and politics that's where you find opportunities that's where you find and learn and and have the ability to succeed so i i suggest 
to the youth that the good part is in the Pakistani culture, it really t teaches us to really respect our elders. And, and that's one thing that, you know, I, I feel that the youth uh, should stick to and learn from and grow from. Now we are talking about Sirman Farid Hashmi. He has a very general and very important thing for the youth and his work is definitely in the way of his education. We keep a good idea about the future of Pakistan and keep a good idea. I understand that in such a small age, there is a lot of operations in Somalia. It is very complicated in the medical industry. There is a lot of compliance, a lot of rules. सिस्टम्स हैं उसको लेके चलना डॉक्टर साथ लेके चलना एक उन्होंने एक बहुत बड़ा आलम उठाया हुआ है बहुत बड़ा परचम उठाया हुआ है मुझे उम्मीद है कि उसमें ये कामें भी हाथ करेंगे इसके अलावा जो इनके दूसरे भाई हैं वो बहुत टैलेंटेड हैं उनसे भी मैं आपकी मुलाकात कराता हूँ विदिन � सेनेटर के साथ कांग्रेसमैन के साथ की मीटिंग और काम करना फंडिंग करना यू नो अमेरिकन कम्युनिटी में जाके उनके चर्चों में जाके उनकी हेल्प करना ये भी इनके अपना एक शौर है और मैं समझता हूँ कि ये हमारे भी शौर होना चाहिए तो ना दिन यहाँ मैं ये इंटरव्यू को खत्म करूँगा और मैं बड़ा मशहूर बमरू के आपने टाइम दिया थैंक यू सो मच और मुझे बड़ी खुशी हो रही है कि मैं नौजवान और डॉक्टर से बात कर रहा हूँ थैंक यू सो मच और आप सफेद पसंद देखते हैं जी मैं देखता हूँ कैसा लगता है आपको बहुत अच्छा लगता है इट इट रियली इज इनफॉर्मेटिव इट्स एक्साइटिंग टू सी हाउ मेनी ऑपरेशनलिटीज पाकिस्तानीज अक्रॉस द कंट्री अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड आर इनवॉल्व्ड � सलमान फिर हाज में रह जाएगा और मैं आपको मुलाकात कराऊंगा इनकी कुछ फैमिली मेंबर से ताकि आपको पता लगे हुई तो इन्हें इस फैमिली भैया इस ऑलवेज बीन अ सोर्स ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ ग्रेट एडवाइस एंड ही इस ऑलवेज सपोर्टेड बोथ मी एंड माय अदर ब्रदर फ्राज विद एनीथिंग वी डू एंड आफ्टर आर पेरेंट्स ही � that uh, that goes without saying uh, but one of the things that um, I do with uh, all of my three sons not so so much as my daughter but all of my three sons is that um, we have to look at things very realistically and objectively without emotions without uh, uh, feelings to assess what reality is I think Suleiman is an ideal child and he has never disappointed me as a, uh, us as a son or as a human being. I'm very, very proud of him and I thank God for blessing us with such a wonderful son. I'm very proud of my husband. He is a very wonderful husband and a great father and he is very genuine as, uh, as a businessman and he really does everything the, what, the best way he feels and he's, he's done great and we are all very proud of him. He has many roles and uh, when I look at him. He is um, a wonderful friend. He's an older brother. He's someone I respect and look up to. Um, he has amazing human qualities and uh, he is really an ideal person. He does so much for so many people um, and is often very selfless in the way he does things. Um, I look up to him in so many different ways and I respect him so much.
नादिन जैसा कि मैंने बताया कि शहर में बड़ी गहमा गहमी है और आज 12 तारीख है और आज ऑफकोर्स बहुत बड़ा इवेंट है यहाँ पे ईद फेस्टिवल है कहते हैं कि सारे रास्ते सारे फ्रीवेज ऑल द रोड्स गोइंग ऑन वन डायरेक्शन फिनिक्स क्लब जहाँ पे ईद का फेस्टिवल है जिसको कौनसल जनरल ऑफ पाकिस्तान रिफ महमूद ने बड़ी मेहनत से और उनकी टीम ने और पाकिस्तान लिंक ने और कम्युनिटी के लीडर्स ने आपको सफी पाकिस्तान के मीडिया पार्टनर इन इट ऑर्गेनाइज किया है रंग रंग प्रोग्राम है बहुत अच्छा क्लब है ये आप जाएं एंजॉय करें तो आप तमाम लोगों से गुजारिश है कि आज के इस फंक्शन को भरपूर कामयाबी से हम किनार करें पीछे नहीं हटें मुझे पता है थोड़ी छोटी मोटी बारिश होगी बूंदाबांदी होगी लेकिन क्या है मैंने देखा था एक दिन न्यूयॉर्क की आवाम को वाकई दे आर रियली ट्रू पेट्रियोटिक पाकिस्तान डे पेड थी और मूसलाधार बारिश थी लेकिन लोग वहां बैठे हुए थे और क्यों कि वो पाकिस्तान के लिए आए थे पाकिस्तान के नाम के लिए आए थे अगर आज थोड़ी बूंदा बांधी है तो क्या फर्क पड़ता है जाइए एंजॉय कीजिए बहुत बड़ा पिंडाल है यूल बी सिक्योर यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फन फूड एंड एवरीथिंग तो भूलिए नहीं आज बारह नवम्बर की तारीख है और जाना मत भूलिए इसके अलावा एक और ग्रैंड ओपनिंग है आज एप्पल कंप्यूटर की एडवांस माइक्रो सिस्टम जो लोकेटेड है हाथर बुले वार्ड पे इज स्टैंडिंग अलोन बिल्डिंग जुबैर राव के सीओ चेयरमैन है बहुत से इनाम है फूड है म्यूजिक है और ये ग्यारह बजे से दो बजे तक है यहाँ पे इनकी ग्रांड ओपनिंग जरूर जाइए देखिए कि एप्पल की कौन कौन सी प्रोडक्ट है वहाँ बहुत से प्राइज भी हैं हो सकता है कि आप कोई नोटबुक जीते हैं कोई एप्पल कंप्यूटर जीत लें और डेफिनेटली आपके वहाँ पे स्टीव जॉब्स ने जो काम किया उसके बारे में भी वहाँ पे उसको ट्रिब्यूट पे किया जा रहा है काफी काउंसिल और कुछ कांग्रेस भी वहाँ आ रहे हैं तो प्लीज जरूर जाइए उनको सपोर्ट कीजिए जनाब जुबैर साहब को और ये हमारे कम्युनिटी के बड़े एक्टिव मेंबर हैं नादीन तो आइए देखते हैं कि लोकल ग्लोबल में आज क्या कुछ हम पेश कर रहे हैं उम्मीद है कि आप दूसरी कम्युनिटी से जरूर मुतारफ होंगे आइए हम सब मिलकर देखते हैं और एक बार फिर अगर आपके शहर में कोई इवेंट है हमें जरूर बताइए ताकि उसको भी हम लोकल ग्लोबल में शामिल करें मुलाजा फरमाइए एयरपोर्ट नादिन अमेरिका की रियासत कैलिफोर्निया के शहर अंटारियो के कन्वेंशन सेंटर में ईद अलाधा नहायती अदब व एहतराम से मनाई गई गो के बूंदाबांदी और बारिश का सिलसिला जारी था लेकिन लोगों की एक बड़ी तादाद ने हिस्सा लिया और यूनिटी का अमली मुजाहरा किया
ڈیلس میں ایم سی سی مسلم کمیونٹی سینٹر کی جانب سے شاندار فنڈ ریزنگ کا انعقاد کیا گیا جس میں انہوں نے چھیالیس ہزار ڈالر کا چندہ بھی جمع کیا جس کا سہرا ڈاکٹر بشیر کے سر جاتا ہے جو اس کے فاؤنڈنگ فادر بھی ہیں اس موقع میں سعدی امام نے نہایت خوبصورت پروگرام پیش کرتے ہوئے ایک فیشن شو بھی پیش کیا جس کو لوگوں نے بے حد پسند کیا لاس اینجلس میں جی ایف کے ریلٹی کے جناب جمال خواجہ صاحب نے تنز و مدہ کی ایک محفل سجائی جس میں عمر شریف نے نہایت خوبصورت پروگرام پیش کیا کمیڈی کی اہم شخصیات نے حصہ لیا عمر شریف کی کامیڈی سے بہت لطف اندوز ہوئے Council General of Pakistan, Los Angeles, in collaboration with Pakistan Link, invites you to an Eid Mela and fundraiser for the flood victims in Pakistan on Saturday, November 12th at Phoenix Club in Anaheim. Come enjoy a fun day and help those who need you. For details, call the numbers on the screen. Assalamu alaikum, I am your host and one time again with your support and new questions and new answers. And you are watching the Legally Correct Safiri Pakistan کا ایک سیگمنٹ اور میرے ساتھ موجود ہیں نئیم حارون ساکھیا صاحب اسلام علیہ وسلم کیسے ہیں جی سر پچھلی ویک کافی مزدار سے سوالات تھے اور بڑے مزدار سے جوابات تھے اس دفعہ یقیناً آپ ہاریں گے نہیں پھر کوئی اچھے اچھے جوابات دے دیں گے آپ کو کسی کوئیس پروگرام میں ہونے چاہیے تھا ویل دس اس لائک کوئیس پروگرام جی سر سر ہماری بس لوگ کی بہت سی ایمیلز آ رہی ہیں مسلسل لوگ سوالات کر رہے ہیں اور جو لوگ یہ پرگرام دیکھ رہے ہیں وہ نیچے جو ایک ٹرگر چل رہی ہے اس میں نئی مہارون ساکیہ صاحب کا ویب سائٹ ای میل ایڈریس اور فون نمبر ہے آپ ان سے کانٹیکٹ کر سکتے ہیں اور اگر آپ کو کوئی اور پریشانی ہے آپ ان سے رابطہ کر سکتے ہیں جی سر آج کے کچھ سوالات ہیں جو لوگ نے ہمیں ای میل کیے ہیں اور یہ لگتا ہے ای میل مطلب باکس فل ہوتا جا رہا ہے تو یہ ایک اچھی خبر تو نہیں ہے درچہ لوگ پریشان ہیں تو آپ کو کر رہے ہیں لیکن انشاءاللہ you'll solve the problem I hope so تو I have a the first question to ask you sir کسی نے سر کیا ہے ایمیل کے تھو کہ I have a small business my brother is visiting me I don't really have a job for him but I still want to do H1B for him can I do that <clears throat> well, my answer would be don't do that. The reason is uh, when you apply for a temporary worker, you certify not only to Department of Labor but also to Immigration that the job which is being offered to this person is bona fide, which means that the job actually exists and you actually need that person to do that job. And you are also able and willing to pay the wages for that person's work. Okay. Now, if he is your brother <clears throat> and you want to do H-1B, even though you don't really have a job for him, that basically is not a real job. Right. Then what you are doing is you are basically giving false statements to Department of Labor and also to immigration so Just that so you right. can benefit your brother uh, so he can get some benefit out of it. Now, in the short term, you might think that that is beneficial, but it is not advisable. And the reason is, in the last 10 years, when the H-1B petitions were approved en masse, uh, I would say up until the last five years, uh, after that, immigration has come to know and realize that there are many companies who are doing uh, shady business deals in the sense that they are petitioning for positions which don't really exist, or they are having immigrants or foreigners come on H-1B and then not do the job 
for which they were petitioned for because they really did not have those jobs. Right. So there are many, many companies, including some very big names, especially companies from India, which are traditionally have been the biggest consumers of H-1B visa quota. Mm -hmm. Those big companies are also under audit at this time, under investigation. Uh, what to speak of a small businesses. So it's not advisable. Secondly, enforcement has gone up in the last two, three years. Uh, immigration, Department of Labor actually visits those places where the claimed work site would be. And if they don't find uh, a setup which would support, support and substantiate the claim that actual work will take place, then they take strict actions against those employers. So my suggestion is if you don't have a real job for this person, don't file an H-1B petition. Okay. Uh, I want to apply for E-2. My attorney told me that I have to buy the business before applying. Is that true? What happens if I do not get E-2? How do I get my money out of the business? Yeah, that's a very sticky situation. The E-2 requirement is that your investment is substantial. ऐसे बिजनेस में ना हो जो कि मार्जिनल है और जो तीसरी जो रिक्वायरमेंट जिसका जिसके हवाले से इन्होंने सवाल किया कि आपकी जो इन्वेस्टमेंट है वो कमिटेड हो इरेवोकेबली कमिटेड एंड दैट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट कांसेप्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर समबडी हुज आउटसाइड यूएस इज ट्राइंग टू गेट द ई2 एंड देन ही इज टोल्ड वेल यू हैव टू सबमिट ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन यू हैव टू इन्वेस्ट योर मनी यू हैव टू कमिट टू अ बिजनेस before we even consider your application and then at the end you may not even get that application approved so what do you do then well the thing is this e2 regulations allow um, normal business mechanisms in such a way that both parties meaning the seller of the business and the buyer of the business are protected and you can make it a condition of that business contract that if your e2 is not approved you will not be obligated to buy that business that's number one number two you can involve third parties, escrow arrangements, where you tender your payment for the business to an escrow agent. Mm. And then that escrow agent is authorized to release those funds only where you are actually granted E2 visa or E2 status. And if you're not, then you have to submit documentation to that escrow agent, which will establish that the contingency based on which the E2 was filed has not been fulfilled and the business contract cannot go forward. And that money will be returned back to you that is permissible under the E2 regulations. So E2 requires that your your commitment should be irrevocable, but at the same time, Congress understands that you would be very wary uh, to commit your funds if you are not sure you are going to get the visa and what happens if you actually don't get the visa. So there are ways to get that money out also. Okay. ये बड़ा शॉर्ट और बड़ा अच्छा आपने जवाब दिया है और दे रहे हैं माशा से आप पिछले कई दिनों से सर एक और ई मेल आई है हमारे पास और वो भी कुछ इस टाइप का सवाल करना चाह रहे हैं आपसे कि आई एम हेयर एज अ विजिटर एंड लुकिंग फॉर अ रेस्टोरेंट बिजनेस कैन आई पार्टिसिपेट इन अ वीक लॉन्ग ट्रेनिंग कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफर्ड बाई अ फ्रेंचाइजर वुड दैट बी अ वायोलेशन ऑफ माई स्टेटस एज अ विजिटर No, it would not be. <clears throat> you can participate in a conference, in a business course, uh, and this is usually what happens when you're trying to get a franchise uh, under your belt. Uh, your franchisor would want you to understand the nature of the business, and they do offer those uh, weekly or few days classes or conferences in which they train you, or at least they explain to you what the business concept is. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is permissible under the visitor's visa uh, category because visitor's visas are usually granted in B1, B2 simultaneous and combined categories which is you are visiting the United States for pleasure as well as business. Now the way they define business is where you conduct business activities in such a way that you are not actually getting paid for those activities. So if let's say you are here on a trade show participation, you can participate in that trade show. As long as you don't get paid wages to participate or stand in that counter. Same thing if somebody is looking for a restaurant business and they are being offered training by their franchisors, they can participate in those conferences. You can give lectures, you can sign book deals, you can do all those things which would not permanently place you or firmly foot you in the United States as long as you are not 
engaging in activities which would be long term basis you are fine जहाँ बिजनेस की बात हो रही है आप एक अपनी फील्ड से बता रहे सवाल घर में सर के शो बिजनेस शो बिजनेस के कुछ बहुत से लोग आते हैं और वैसे भी जो जो विजिटर्स आते हैं तो अक्सर ये होता है कि उनको बता नाइन्टी डेज का वीज़ा इधर इशू किया है एंट्री और वो थोड़ा सा इससे मतलब थोड़ा ज़्यादा अपना विजिट लंबा करना चाहते हैं तो यूजली ये होता है कि वो अप्लाई कर सकते हैं कि अब थोड़े दिन एक्सटेंड कर लें अपना ऐसा कुछ होता है लेकिन आर्टिस्ट वगैरह या एंटरटेनर से परफॉर्मर जो है या एथलीट्स वो ओ या पी वीज़ा पे भी आते हैं विजिटर वीज़ा पे भी आते हैं किसी भी तरह के नॉन एमिग्रेंट वीज़ा पे कोई शख्स आता है उसके लिए ये पॉसिबल है कि वो अपने वीज़ा को एक्सटेंड कराए उसके लिए सिर्फ दो शरात हैं एक तो शर्त यह कि जो एप्लीकेशन फॉर एक्सटेंशन है वो उस वक्त सबमिट की जाए जबकि आपका करंट वीज़ा या करंट आई नाइन्टी एक्सपायर ना हुआ हो अनलेस के बड़ी एक्सट्रीम सरकमस्टांसेस हों और दूसरा जिस भी कैटेगरी में आप अप्लाई कर रहे हैं आप कंटिन्यूसली उसके एलिजिबल हों तो अगर फर्ज कीजिए आप पी थ्री के लिए अप्लाई करना चाहते हैं या ओ के लिए अप्लाई करना चाहते हैं तो आपको ये दिखाना होगा कि आप कंटिन्यूसली उस कैटेगरी के एलिजिबल हैं बी वन बी टू इज़ अ सिम्पलेस्ट कैटेगरी इन दैट सेंस यू नॉट रियली हैव टू शो एनी एलिजिबिलिटी फॉर दैट ऑल यू हैव टू शो इज दैट योर इंटेंशन इज टू इवेंचुअली लीव यूनाइट स्टेट्स यू हैव द फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्स टू स्टे इन यू एस and you have a specific reason why you want to stay and you have a specific plans to leave united states after your extended stay expires thank you very much sir um itne short notice pe aur itne short time mein aap itne sawalat ke jawab dete hain bahut si logon ki pareshaniyan masail aapki kuch baaton se hal ho jate hain lekin agar aapne tafseeli baat karni hai aur aapke koi bhi masail hain zaid se baat itna short time mein short baat hoti hai to aap कॉल uh, कर सकते हैं जनाब अटॉर्नी नईम हारून साकिया साहब को साकिया लॉ ग्रुप को और इनका जो वेबसाइट है उसका एड्रेस मैं आपको दे देता हूँ डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट साकिया लॉ ग्रुप डॉट कॉम इनका ई मेल एड्रेस है मेल एट इमिग्रेट टू अमेरिकन अमेरिक सॉरी मेल एट इमिग्रेट टू अमेरिका डॉट कॉम और इनका फ़ोन नंबर है थ्री और दूसरा नंबर है नाइन सेवन टू थ्री फाइव नाइन नाइन टू सेवन फोर इन नंबरों पे आप कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं आप वेबसाइट के थ्रू कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं आप ईमेल कर सकते हैं और नहीं साकिर साहब अवेलेबल होंगे आपकी मदद के लिए और ये समझ लें आपके लिए एक मसीहा का काम कर रहे हैं अगर आप चाहते हैं कोई सवाल कोई जवाब और अपने मसाइल हल करने के लिए लीगल वे में ये हेल्प यू और इसी के साथ आपका भी शुक्रिया अदा करूँगा और इस प्रोग्राम का वक्त खत्म हो रहा है सर आई थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू अल्लाह हाफिज मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीक something special he likes it personal he likes a private space he prefers it laid back she likes a bedtime story he likes to dream of his own how would you like to fly with the best etihad airways the world's leading Council General of Pakistan Los Angeles in collaboration with Pakistan Link invites you to an Eid Mela and fundraiser for the flood victims in Pakistan on Saturday November 12th at Phoenix Club in Anaheim. Come enjoy a fun day and help those who need you. For details call the numbers on the screen. तो आप देख रहे थे अपना पसंदीदा प्रोग्राम सफीर पाकिस्तान आपकी आवाज और आपकी पहचान रबतों का एक नाम सफीर पाकिस्तान आज फ्रिज क्लब में 
भरपूर मजा ही मजा है जरूर जाइए एंजॉय कीजिए और इस फेस्टिवल को कामयाब बनाए आसान बुलेवार्ड में दो बजे ग्रैंड ओपनिंग है एप्पल कंप्यूटर की जरूर जाइए जुबैर राव आपका इंतजार करेंगे बहुत सारे इनाम भी हैं इसके साथ ही आपका मेजबान वकील खान आपसे जाए जाएगा अला हाफिज पाकिस्तान फाइन